My last running back that I'm interested in on waivers this week is uh, Jeff Wilson Jr. And if you guys listened to our week three preview podcast, which we go through uh, every Thursday, we go through all of the weekend's games, preview all of them, talk about all of the relevant fantasy players and tell you what you should be looking for from a fantasy football perspective. Um, I want to start doing some sit start kind of questions too. So we we might get into that. Um, But if you listen to our week three preview podcast we talked about preemptively picking up jeff wilson just because there was no way uh shanahan was going to move to featuring jarek mckinnon um and lo and behold guess what jeff wilson comes out and he rushes 12 times albeit for 15 yards uh does get a score and then he caught all three targets for 54 yards and another score okay that'll play yeah 15 touches two two touchdowns and then not only that, but Jarek McKinnon turns around and gets uh, gets hurt, uh, hurts his ribs late in the fourth quarter against the Giants. He did not return to the game. However, they were up big late. So maybe that had to do with why he didn't come back to the game. I don't know how serious it is yet. Um, however, if McKinnon misses time to heal up his ribs, then Wilson could be the number two this week when Mostert comes back, if he does, in fact, come back. Um, and McKinnon isn't able to suit up or if they both sit, then it's freaking hasty off of the practice squad <laughs> and it's Jeff Wilson. Um, Jeff Wilson is only rostered right now in about 14% of the leagues. So I think he, I mean, in that offense, I think he's looking at at least 15 touches. Um, he's definitely, I would say probably a one to two week rental. Maybe. I don't know how, depending on how serious the injury is to Jarek McKinnon. Um, hopefully he doesn't go get any uh, rib injections from the San Diego Chargers doctors, but uh, LA Chargers. <laughs> oh, LA, like you're it. right. Sorry. Yeah. God, it's so hard maybe, to shake that. Maybe he should have gone to San Diego. Would have been better <laughs> off. <laughs> that team should have never left that city, but I digress. I have Jeff Wilson in a league. He sat on the bench and then he dropped 20. He's like, okay. Rough, I still, man. Still Yo, it's know. so hard to start him. Yeah, the, the running back carousel in for, for the 49ers is so tough to play anybody. We even cautioned against starting Jarek McKinnon to a certain extent. I mean, we both both called him a very solid RB2, but just didn't know how that was going to shake out. If Jarek McKinnon's out, then Jeff Wilson is probably a must start. I have a feeling they're probably going to try to get Mostert healthy. It sounds like Coleman's going to be out a while. I would try to go get Jeff Wilson for, you know, somewhere in the 10 to 15 percent of fab range, um, because, again, he's a short term. I think you've got to spend more than that to get him, though. I, you I, might you, have to. If you can get him for 10 to 15 percent, I think he, that's a good win because I think he's going to be productive for at least a week or two. I, I um, would be hesitant to go more than that unless you are really thin at running back. Yeah. Whoa, didn't see you there. You can't sneak up on me like that. I'm sorry. I was just making some trades. How about you hit that subscribe button? I'll show you what it was.